air precipitation what is rain the water which falls down from the sky is known as rain rain is part of the water cycle and a form of precipitation rain snow sleet and hail are different forms of precipitation but all rain is not the same the way the clouds move and the reason why rain falls is different in different areas let us take a look at the different types of rainfall types of rainfall there are three types of rainfall the convectional rainfall the orographic rainfall and the cyclonic rainfall convectional rainfall sun heats the land and air above it the air above the warmed ground becomes warm and expands when it expands it becomes lighter than the air around it and begins to rise warm air can hold more moisture than cool air so it absorbs more water as it goes up as the air rises more and more it starts getting cooler and cooler finally it cools down so much that condensation begins and clouds start to form then the rain process starts and it is accompanied by thunder and lightning the clouds that bring convectional rainfall have a gray bottom can you see it here convectional rain is usually very heavy with large raindrops it usually happens at the end of a very hot summer day convectional rainfall falls in the equatorial region every evening orographic rainfall the winds that blow in from the sea carry a lot of moisture when they come on to land if they are obstructed by large mountain ranges they start rising upward as it rises upward the air starts cooling down it cools down enough for clouds to form then it begins to rain as these clouds have a lot of moisture in them after enough rain falls from the cloud it becomes light and rises very little rain falls on the other side of the mountain this side of the mountain is also known as the rain shadow region cyclonic rainfall sometimes two different air masses one warm and one cool meet each other the warm air rises over cool air and cools when it cools down sufficiently clouds start forming the clouds are usually gray and cover all of the sky the clouds become heavier and sink down and rainfall begins the rainfall usually continues for several days and is quite intense the two contrasting forces of air warm air and cool air are called a front this is also known as frontal rain think and discuss explain the formation of convectional rainfall explain formation of orographic rainfall explain formation of cyclonic rainfall